The festival programme this year is jam-packed as always. Now audiences are getting a chance to take a look at some old classics as well as a first look at some new titles. Now one film that's getting its debut at the festival this year is Frank Berry's Ballymun Lullaby, which tells the story of the Ballymun music programme. First of all, make a shape like this with your lips and blow through it. Watch. No, no, just make a shape like this. Do that. Again. Ballymun Lullaby tells the story of the Ballymun Music Programme. Frank, can you tell us a little bit about the programme? Yes, absolutely. Um, the Ballymun Music Programme is um, uh, an initiative run by uh, Ron Cooney out in Ballymun. He's an inspirational music teacher uh, with a lot of other people. He'll quickly add if you spoke to speak to him. Uh, he, he's uh, been out there for about 15 years and it's a, a really an initiative to engage young people uh, in music and to, I suppose, show them a different, uh, you know, interest maybe, and to kind of get them engaged in, in a, a, an activity that will kind of maybe open their minds a little bit and inspire them. Do you know any Rogers? No. It's terrible. Are you Chloe Boyle? Yeah. Great. I kind of went along and uh, heard some of the songs, and the songs really just blew me away. Particularly, well, Dara's music, uh, he, he wrote it so that the, the young people can play it. So he kind of wrote it for them. And also the young people in Ballymun wrote the, uh, some, some young participants wrote, co-wrote the lyrics. And uh, so it very much felt like their music. And Ron decided then to uh, uh, try and get this music recorded properly with the RT Concert Orchestra so that it would, you know, give the young people something tangible really very much to feel proud of. You know, the film kind of follows Ron and a couple of the key participants um, uh, for the two-year period and their thoughts and the ups and downs of the whole thing, you know. The more privileged kid than I am wouldn't probably be interested, but because I've gotten the opportunity and I know that I have to work hard at and stuff, I think I appreciate it a bit more because I know that I have to work hard at what I do and I have to, you know, do whatever I can to be good at what I do. I only finished the film last Saturday. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> yes, couldn't it fine? So, uh, basically, you know, I've been thinking about uh, this screening, but then you have to remind yourself that it's actually just the beginning of a journey. I mean, I'm so happy to be uh, uh, premiering the film at the Dublin Film Festival. It's the absolutely perfect place for it to start its journey, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>